Hello and welcome to this presentation. This video will explain in detail the most effective way to model a vessel using Tecla structure. So stick to this video till the end because you will learn good knowledge in this video of 11 minutes and some seconds. Let us get started. So we are going to be navigating to one of the grid lines and elections. I will do on the keyboard control I to actually bring up the the view properties and then we get to the uh relay two we enable it to the visible view just like this and then click on the OK option. So I will tie the view vertical to this provision and then after which we now start to model the vessel. I can decide to close this view for now and tie this particular one particle so we can have a good visibility of what we are doing and zoom this provision closely just like this. So I will come to beam, I will click on the beam provision and then this is the property of the beam I've just selected. Alright, so if you want to actually um, model a particular, um, a particular vessel you will have to you know establish a vertical or uh, a vertical beam just as I've selected okay you establish a beam in the vertical directions so it all depends on the height of the vessel that you actually want to so if for instance the height of my vessel is 1200 you can see 1200 or you can just type on the keyboard 1200 and click on the OK so I will have a beam just like this okay so after which i want uh the depth to be at the middle this one so i'll uh, escape from here i right click and interrupt right here select on this beam to enable the property select in this provision and select middle in the horizontal okay provision click on update to send this to the center just like this okay after which then we proceed we navigate to the profile. The profile is UB Universal Beam. This is not the profile we are going to be using. But we click in these provisions to get access to the profile we'll be using to create the vessel. I will minimize the eye profile and I'll go to the circular hollow sections just like this. And I'll come to where I have user sizes. I click in this provision. You see this one? This is the one that we will be using. All right. I will select it right there with diameter okay see the default diameter is 200 millimeters all right i will click on apply and then i click on ok so after which over here i can modify so i'm not having a kind of a hollow circular sections right here for my vessel so what is the diameter of my vessel i come to this provision my vessel diameter is 1200 i will click in this provision just like this to add 1200 so what is the thickness of the plate that consists of the circular vessel? I want it to be five, five millimeters. So I will make provision here, five millimeters. And then the name is going to be vessel. All right. So I will have something like this vessel. All right. Then I can change the class if I want. Okay. I click on modify to effect that. Now, if you copy this, you can see that we have successfully created a vessel just like this we need the cover and as well as the bottom cover successfully because the bottom is not covered yet okay so we go into how to create a cover for the bottom of our vessel as well as the top but we'll create the bottom first okay so i will double click on this view okay just like this and then i will come to where i have angle i change it to plane and then i modify to have a a view along green line to successfully just like this then i can do control i on the keyboard i want to get to the elevations plan elevations at level zero okay so we can create the bottom cover of this vessel all right so i will do control i on the keyboard to get to the view properties okay over here i come to plan elevations zero i move it to the visible view just like this you can see and then i click on the ok i can decide to tie this vertical just like this and then you can see this is the bottom of this 
vessel right here sitting on green line zero uh green line at elevation zero okay so now i have this i want to work on this right away so to create the bottom cover of this vessel right now we will uh move straight away to plate provision so i click on the plates i will select this vessel right here i right click and interrupt okay select in the space i click on this uh, plate right here this is the plate information so we will change it later so i will uh, find the uh, center point along the circumference of this plate uh, circular plate i pick that first point right and then i zoom closely to look for the uh, circular uh, uh, point uh, of uh, center point of this plate along the circumference in that direction select it and then select this one it will always show you a kind of rectangular uh, a rectangular uh, snap point so you should know once you see that click right here and then over here just to click to complete the plate uh, instruction just like this okay so this is right at the bottom of this uh, vessel successfully I will right click and interrupt this so after which I will select the plate when you select the plate or the alt key the alt key on the keyboard alt key and then do a window just like it to select the two opposite uh the two opposite uh side of the plate raise your hand to have it selected like this you will have these options okay select in these options and use arc point options arc point options click right there click on modify so you see the plate is being created successfully all right if you come to this uh view and then you checked it you will notice that the plate is being created if you select outside and select in this see that is the plate being created successfully you can decide to change this plate uh class okay to uh class 3 modify you can see right there so we are now having a plate created successfully to cover the bottom of this uh uh, first successfully I can select in it and then be able to change this to five millimeters because we are using thickness of our plate to be five millimeters so I choose that option five millimeters so the material as well you can change it to any material but this is just a video that I'll actually show you how you can model this uh, vessel successfully now we are done we will go and proceed to modeling the cap so for us to model the cap of this vessel we are going to be navigating to uh, this view along the line 2 so we close this particular view for now and then tie this view vertical just like this we double click in this space and then come to angle provisions and change it to plane and then come modify apply it and ok so we have something of this kind so for the cut of this vessel now we will also use beam select on the beam and then pick the first point just like this i want to pick from somewhere along the line uh, along the elevations uh 1600 just like this and then what could be the height of my uh cap okay like the you know the the height of the uh vessel cap so i can take that to for instance let me just say 500 right here and i enter so i have something of this kind all right after which I uh, will proceed and select this and then I come to the profile provisions and then I click right here so I will minimize the eye profile so for cap I will have to uh, navigate to where I have orders see these orders okay I click in these provisions and then I can see over here cap see cap right here I can click on apply it and then I click on ok so once I apply that OK, you can see my cap is just uh, the diameter is 150. So I'll be choosing the diameter from 150 to uh, 1200. Okay, so you can be able to cover uh, or have the same diameter with the vessel. So I change that successfully. I click on the modify. So I have a cap like this successfully. Okay, so after which I can decide to change the material. For instance, I want to use uh, class one material right here i click on modify after which i can just have the cap selected 
right click and click on move options and then from the center i will have to select and pick at that midpoint take it to the midpoint of this vessel and then i will look at the midpoint uh, where it could be the midpoint this could be the midpoint or here i select it right there and then do not expand just like this so we have completed uh this successfully if i should orbit this this way you can see that i have my cap covers my vessel successfully you can now see we have a vessel just like this i can change the class of this uh, uh vessel cap and then over here i can decide to use this to modify you can see what i'm having right here i can also decide to use this class 3 right here modify you see what i'm having okay so this is how you can create this so once after you've done creating this card select the whole of the vessel right there and copy it to the top of your tag successfully that is how this is done successfully okay so i believe that you have learned one or two things in this video please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel as we will continue in the next presentation if you have any question please drop it in the comment sections and then there is a link for our whatsapp group chat okay so you can join it through the description also there are details templates in the description which you can use to fast track your joins uh, works successfully have a great day and bye for now